Trevor Seaman had a rough first quarter in Indianapolis, the Broncos quarterback didn't even make it through the opening period against the Colts on Thursday. Seaman had to leave the game after leading the Broncos to field goal range on their second offensive possession, on a third and goal play from Indy's 7-yard line, Seaman dropped back to pass, but he never got a chance to throw in the ball because Barkevius Mingo ran him down from behind and smashed him into the ground for a 10-yard loss, Trevor Seaman had to leave Thursday's game after, taking a huge hit from Barkevius Mingo, NBC NFL Network according to the Broncos, Seaman suffered a left shoulder injury on the play and will not return to action. The Broncos will be hoping that EDIDNT re-injure the shoulder, which was surgically repaired back in January, to add insult to injury. Broncos kicker Brandon McManus missed the 40-yard field goal that he attempted after Seaman led Denver into scoring range. Seaman went 5 of 9 for 67 yards and he also threw an interception before exiting the game. With Seaman out, the Broncos turned to Brock Osweiler, who hadn't thrown a pass since Week 11. Osweiler started in three games this season for the Broncos and went 0-3 with losses to the Eagles, Patriots and Bengals. He's erratic in all three games and didnt once complete more than 55% of his passes. However, he seemed to shake off the rust against the Colts. Not only did he throw for 197 yards on just 12 completions, but he also threw one of the most impressive touchdown passes. The season 54-yard bullet to tight end Jeff Oyerman, for highlights and the final stats from the Broncos 2513 win over the Colts, be sure to click here and check out our game tracker.